out of the west rides Deputy Dan with the Pecos Kid, his right-hand man. In the town of Eagle Pass, they're seen at the home of lovely Molly Dean. The sheriff's name is Big Sam Flynn. Against all odds, you know he'll win. Ben Skaggs and his boys are really tough. They're villains all, mean and rough. Come on along, you'll be glad you did. Ride with Deputy Dan and the Pecos Kid. even a jackrabbit. I didn't see anything from up there but this common chero camp and that wagon load of coffins. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I counted two up, two still in the bedroll. There may be more in one of these buildings. I counted seven head. Two horses for the wagon and five saddle ponies. There's got to be at least six of them. We'd better make our move, Elmer. Leo! Better get out of that bedroll. Coffee's about gone. Don't give all that coffee to Leo. Save some for me. Deputy Dan Blaine, Eagle Pass. Drop your guns. I've spent my time in jail. Pass the word when they get to where they're going, and we'll have a little peace and quiet in Eagle Pass. Maybe, but it's not likely. Let's see what they were taking with them. Coffins? I didn't know they went in for funerals. Not fancy dress ones, anyway. I wonder who died. been stealing Don Jose's cows to pay for these things. Take a lot of longhorns to pay for rifles like these. Well, Don Jose's been missing steers for the past month. If you want to follow through on this, you talk to Ben Skaggs. I'll bet he's in this up to his crooked neck. You're probably right, Elmer. But proving it's going to be hard. Watch it. That was it. Easy, son, easy. I'm Deputy Dan Blaine from Eagle Pass. This is Elmer Hayes. He's foreman for Don Jose Benavides. Who are you? What do they call you, boy? Boy. They're bound to call you something besides that, son. 
Nino. Nino. How long have you been riding with the Comancheros? A long time. Where did you come from? Across the river. I called it the Pecos. No, I mean before the Comancheros took you. Where are your folks? I don't know. That was a long time ago. Well, a boy like you needs something permanent. A place to call home. A name to go by. How about Pecos? Yeah, that'll do for a while. We'll take you back to town with us and see what we can do about finding your folks. How about it? Elmer, you hitch up the team. I'll stay here and look around again. Gather a horse for the boy. Sam Flynn's gonna want to see those rifles. This has been some day. A wagon load of coffin, a coffin's full of rifles, now an orphan kid with no name. My name's Pegasus, sister. My mistake, uh, Pegasus. I'll hook up the team. I know those boys. They work for Ben Skaggs. Let's get the rifles on into town. And Elmer, take it easy. Take a look at the wagon, Sam. Elmer will give you the story. Take a look. Where are we going? The Widow Dean's. What for? Widow Dean runs the boarding house. That'll be your new home for a while. She bakes good apple pie. Hi, Molly. I'd like you to meet the Pecos kid. Who? That's what he calls me. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pecos needs a place to stay for a while. I'll be back later to fill you in on the details. Pecos here has had quite a life. Well, any friend of yours is welcome here, Dan. Thanks, Molly. I've already told him about your apple pie. Now, how about that piece of apple pie? I'll do what I can, Ellen. Looks like you've had a busy day. You can say that again. What about the boy? I left him over at Molly's. 
He can't remember his name. We're going to have to see what we can do about finding his folks. Elmer here says that Ben Skaggs may be the buyer for all those missing cattle. May have something to do with those guns. Maybe you ought to take a ride out and see Mr. Skaggs. Sure thing. I'll ride with you, Dan. No, you better stay here and help me with the wagon, huh? Keep a sharp eye on that Mr. Skaggs. He's getting meaner every day. I can handle Ben Skaggs and his men. this boss but Dan Blaine took those rifles how'd he get them he took them from the common shuttles try to get them back boss but we couldn't catch up to them they were Blaine and that old coot Elmer Hayes you boys got no class I tried my best don't you know by now the sheriff knows everything and the deputy's on his way out here well what do we do now boss well I'm gonna give you one more chance I want you to ride out and meet the deputy and give him a real Skaggs welcome. Well, well what for? We, we don't even like the guy. Griswold, what do we do to trespassers? We shoot them. Right. You looking for something special, deputy? Yes, I am, Leach. And I think I found it. You boys have been doing some work with a running iron.
may not be dead. Well, if he's not dead, the river will get him. Indians! Indians? Yeah, Indians! Just get out of here! Is Deputy Dan still alive? If he is, will the Pecos kid be able to save him from a watery grave? And who is that Indian? For the answers to these questions, be sure to be with us again for the next exciting episode of Deputy Dan and the Pecos Kid.